Wine is great alone. Cheese is great alone. <laughs> but when you pair them together, well, that's magic. Michael Quinlan, he's the wine guy, and Ashley Dugan, she's the cheese woman, are here from Big Y Table and Vine in the nearby West Springfield with some perfect matches for the fall. This segment is going to be so Gouda. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, don't worry, we have it for you today. <laughs> so. I'm so excited. Yeah. But this is so beautiful, and I think, you know, we're all wanting, we're all back to our busy schedules, and it's nice to just say, hey, let's do a little fall entertainment but you've made it look beautiful and easy like you guys can really help us out with this absolutely absolutely I think Ashley uh, could tell you a little bit about these cheeses and, and how we can create this sort of platter for you yeah we have a great team down at table and vine and really in all of the big wise I could help put together you know a gorgeous cheese board for you um, today we have a chow Angela which is an aged Gouda aged just over nine months um, Kilcher and Cave Aged Cheddar, it's aged over 15 months. It's mm. definitely a staff favorite. Yeah. And then um, our Breed of Moore, which is a double oh, cream brie. That is my absolute favorite. Yeah, it's so good. delicious. It, it looks so great. And it, essentially, it was you said, you know, you want to start with three cheeses about build from there. Yep. Definitely. Absolutely. And Michael, you were saying earlier that some people will just get three, you know, three cheeses and they'll throw them out there and then they'll serve wine to it. But you say Absolutely. more, th a, a better thought process should go into this. Well, you certainly can can make the cheese taste better and the wine taste better if they're working together. And and they'll do that if you if you create the right pairing. You know, sometimes you throw together a cheese board when you're entertaining, like a fall entertaining sort of thing, and just serve a white and a red. Uh, but if you think about exactly what you're putting together, they can really uh, create a, an even better part of the evening. Is there a rule that we should think of, like strong cheese, lighter? wine? Or? Uh, no, I think you know, yeah, there is, but it's strong cheese, strong wine. You, know, strong you really need like that, like those kind of stinky cheeses, those really powerful ones. I think you need a wine with some oomph to them to stand up to that. Okay. Uh, and again, Ashley, I, I, I could probably do this at home, cut up the cheese myself, but Big Y will do it for me? Yep, Table and Vine and Big Y will make gorgeous cheese boards and platters for you right there at the store. Which is just fantastic. And I love how you decorate it, so but if we came in with a gorgeous platter oh, already I get it. done. She and said then gourd, gourd <laughs> she said, but then, you know, she said And then they just put like just. three little pumpkins here and some herbs and like you have you, there's your party it's yep. terrific Absolutely. All right, so we so have some wines here. We have here. three wines All here, right. and they're from our vineyard selections. Uh, the first one is a Chardonnay. I'm going to give you a sip. Okay. Um, and is it true you guys have over 4,000 wines? We do. Oh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's a huge selection. And, you know, we're just so proud to to have so much to offer. Oh, the bouquet, Michael, is just wonderful. I don't know what wine, I'm talking about. You know about. what's nice about this wine? It's Chardonnay, but it's no oak. So you don't get that buttery sort of heaviness. It's really bright and light. Actually, Kara, I was thinking about you when I picked this wine, because I know you like rosé. It's a little bit brighter, and I thought this wine might be to your okay, taste. Okay, so. Cheers. That is really good. It's a nice which, one. Really which clean. Chardonnay is this? This is called Charpentier Chardonnay. Okay. It's just a French uh, Chardonnay from the northern part of France. So you get a little cooler climate, really bright sort of citrusy flavors. Yeah, it's very flavors. easy. Just, yeah. yeah. And I it, love it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going back to Ashley for a second here. The chip, uh, the, the, the types of chips, do you, do, you, do you want to serve like a bland chip so we can get the taste of the cheese, or do you want to say some, something more savory or seasoning? Yeah, I would do probably more of a mild cracker. You wouldn't want to do something that's going to be, you know, oh, too oh. overpowering where it's going to, you know, It'll take away from, from the, the cheese. cheese. But there okay. are some crackers that would blend well with certain cheeses. Awesome. Yeah. And then the olive tray right there, yeah, so that's so wonderful it, to put on the side. Great, huh? Yep, we have giant olive bars where you can, you know, mix and match, oh, whichever. So right. we've got a red for us, too? Yeah, absolutely. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile, uh, Calatera. This is their Reserva, so it gets a few months of aging in oak, uh, which gives it just a little more depth, a little more power of flavor. I like the label. It's very pretty. Isn't it, it is beautiful? Yeah. Look at that, how nice that <laughs> is. I know that we all shop on the labels, so. Mm. <laughs> so, but it's nice if we come in and we're not sure what we should bring to a party or we could describe who we think the person likes and you can help us pick the right one. Absolutely. Wine. Our staff is really locked in uh, to helping customers with, with all sorts of questions. Whether I think the most common questions we get are around food, whether it's I'm making this dish, I'm looking for a wine to pair, or I want to buy this wine, what should I make to go with it? Uh, yeah. And also with cheese pairings and everything else, our staff, I think they're really... Really locked and in. you're really close to Hartford. How we are. It's it's 30 minutes. 30 so minutes. It's, it's, nothing, it's yeah. great. And there, I think there's lower taxes. No and, taxes. No, yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> sales tax. That might be even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have our third. I'll give you one more wine. This okay. one's a Bordeaux from France, um, and it's mostly Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, and it is a blend that does have some Merlot in it as well. This is a winery that we've been dealing with for over a decade. Okay. Uh, it's a husband and wife run winery. They farm everything organically. They're doing all Ooh, the right things. This one I and like they a lot. make good wines every single year. So we've become huge fans of theirs. This is a stronger wine. This yeah, is where you want to put absolutely. a strong, like you would put one of those blue cheeses or something yeah, like and that. In this particular case, this cheddar that Ashley brought, we suggest with this because it's uh, it's aged for a long time. I think, would you say 15 months? 15 months, yeah. Yep. So, so you get more of that you know, intense cheddar. The longer flavor. the age, the, the more, stronger the stronger it is. The cheese. Yep. And yeah, this absolutely. one has the Parmesan culture in it. So you're going to get that you know, Parmesan taste to it as I'm, well. Ashley, I'm sure you get a lot of cheese jokes. 
jokes, but do you ever get fed up with them? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're usually pretty good, so. Uh, okay, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Table and Vine is located at 1119, that's 1119 Riverdale Street, that's Route 5 in nearby West Springfield, Mass. And the website, to check them out, is tableandvine.com.